Hi there, and welcome to today's um, Corona Cast. I want to tell you about a bench. There's a bench that I um, that I love to go to. It's um, in Oxley's Woods, and I often walk up there. I have a good stomp up the hill, and on that bench, I spend time with Jesus. I pray and I listen and I sit and sometimes if the weather's nice I'll lay on the bench and have a little doze. In the last few weeks I've I've really craved <laughs> to go to go up the hill um, and and just sit with Jesus and I've not had the opportunity yet. Um, we did actually go up there yesterday. I was with the children and there were lots of other people around and somebody else was sat on my bench. How dare they? But I guess what I want to say today is I think to in encourage us all not to not to focus too much on what we can't have right now. I was reminded of a time when I felt I should run a, a mother and baby group, um, play and pray. It was called. It was it was lovely, um, and I thought we should run this group. Um, but we were living in our in our old flat. It was a two bed flat. It was quite crowded, and I just thought it's not the place to do it. Wait till we've moved house, and it actually took us two years to move house. But thankfully, I didn't wait to start playing prayer. I thought I'll start it in our flat and then move it when we move house. Um, but if I'd waited two years, the time would have completely passed. I'd have missed that opportunity. I can't go and sit on the bench like I want to. I mean, I probably will at some point in the next few weeks manage to get up there, but I can't wait around for, for the time when I can go to the bench. I've got to find opportunities within the time I've got. The ideal and our plans are not necessarily accessible right now, but if we are being called to do something, called in to do something, we need, I just want to encourage you just, just to start that, to do that now, not to sit around waiting for after lockdown, not to sit around waiting for when things become normal again. I'm just going to finish by praying for you and then you can get on with the rest of your day. Lord God, um, thank you for these guys who are listening. Um, I pray that you speak to them. I pray that you lead them. And Lord God, if there's anything in particular you're putting on their heart at this time, Lord, give them what they need to grab it and bless these guys. In Jesus' name. Amen.